What's up YouTube? This is Eric once again with Holster Reviewer. Today we are looking at the Southern Sidekick from R Grizzle Holsters. And um, this is a very versatile uh, holster, something that I really haven't used before. And um, initially I had contacted them looking for an appendix style carry and they sent me this, um, which is not just an appendix style carry. You can use this for cross draw, behind the hip, um, appendix. You can use it for all kinds of different things. But I will get into that in just a second here. First things first, did want to show everybody all of the weapons that we have have been safety checked. There's nothing in the barrel, nothing down the slide there, and obviously nothing in the magazine. So uh, with that being said, all the weapons are safe to use for our videos here. So back to the holster itself. Um, it is made with Herman Oak leather. Um, I've talked about that before and you guys have heard that many times. This is the best leather you can buy for a gun holster. So uh, very well put together. Um, the people over there at R Grizzle, Ryan especially, has just done a beautiful job with this. Um, extremely comfortable to wear. Um, I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on my body, the different applications that you can do with it. At the same time, um, you know, I'm going to show you the, the different clip options as well. Um, so we'll do a close-up of it, we'll show it on my body, and then after that we'll do a quick wrap-up here. So back to the holster itself, I did go with a uh, mahogany color on here. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, hand-stitched, hand-molded, everything on here was done by hand, um, including the extra strap here which um, just snaps right over the belt loop. Like I said, I was really going for an appendix style look for this, um, and I've been very pleased with given the different options. I've never been able to carry it really any other way than you guys have seen me with my hybrid style holsters before. So I've uh, been very pleased with this, and it's very easy to use. And um, I, I kind of like that. The hybrid style holsters are a little bit more difficult to, to put on. This is very easy. So um, let's do a quick close-up of it here. We'll look at it in detail. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on my body and while I'm carrying, and then we'll do a quick wrap up. So bear with me just a moment, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, did want to show you what the holster did look like while it was close up here. Um, as you can see, extremely well made. The smooth side is on the outside. You can get it with the smooth side on the inside. Um, it's reinforced, so obviously that thing's staying open, um, which is obviously a, a big concern with people is being able to reholster. Um, look at the whole thing all together. Very well put together, very well formed. Um, Ryan has done just an awesome job with this. I know he hand makes every single one of these. So uh, same with the clip over here. The clip on this one is a it's a Kydex injected mold that they use for it. As you can see, it does wrap over your belt very well. Stays in place. If you're more concerned about it moving or anything like that, obviously this is another option for you. Um, but other than that, um, this is just a very well-made holster. As you can see, it's all stitched in here. Um, holds the weapon very well. The retention is fantastic on it. It does take a little bit of time to break in, but that's with any holster. So um, we will go ahead and put this on, and I'll show you guys what it looks like while it's on my body. All right, guys, did want to show you what the holster did look like while it was on my body here. I am currently wearing it in the behind-the-hip position. Um, this is one of the many different positions that Ryan recommends for this. Um, appendix carry, cross draw are the most common um, other positions that people do wear this in. Um, if you feel something that is more comfortable for you, if you want it directly on your hip, you know, one, two, three o'clock works for you, go for it. Um, obviously, nobody's stopping you. But at the same time, um, with the clip on here, there's different positions, obviously different rides, different cans you can do. Um, I do have it loose right now just for demonstration purposes, but once you do figure out a position that works really well for you, obviously tighten down that screw and you won't have to worry about it going anywhere. Um, very good draw on this weapon. Um, at the same time, um, I haven't decided personally the way I'm going to wear it, um, whether it's going to be behind the hip or appendix carry. I think it all actually might depend on the season of year. Um, it, it, I like the accessibility of it in the front without having to reach behind, but at the same time, in the summer months, I feel like my t-shirt actually covers it a little better back here. So um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the front here, and then um, I'll do a quick wrap up for you. So bear with me just a second, and I'll uh, do a little wardrobe change. All right, guys, as promised, I did want to show you what this did look like um, as an appendix carry. As you can see, it conceals fairly well. 
Um, obviously in the winter months, um, you'll have a, a bigger coat on, but um, to, to be able to be put in the position where it is right now, it's it very accessible at the same time if I want it in a cross draw fashion on the complete other side you can. Um, like I said before, you can adjust the ride the cans on it. Obviously if you want it a little bit further to the right or the left, you can. So um, the, this position has actually worked very well for me. Um, I, I typically do carry this way um, in the winter months. Um, you know, obviously with various different kinds of holsters, but you know, with this particular holster, with the dual carry, it has just been phenomenal. So um, I, I think I tell you the truth, this will probably be my winter carry setup here, um, going in the in the upcoming months here. So um, let me do a quick wrap up for you guys, and uh, hopefully answer any questions you have on this. But as you can see, conceals very well, very comfortable. I can barely tell it's there. Um, and at the same time, with the smooth side out on the leather. Um, it's nice and comfortable against the skin. So bear with me just a second and I'll uh, do a quick wrap up. All right guys, did want to do a quick wrap up here and touch on a few things that I might have missed before. Um, the Southern Sidekick by R. Grizzle has been nothing short of a pleasure to review over the last week. Um, it's definitely opened my eyes to a variety of different ways to carry that I personally didn't even think about before. Um, whether it's the appendix carry, the cross draw, you know, behind the hip, whatever the case may be on this, this is very versatile. And that's kind of the goal that Ryan had come up with when he created this. So um, as you can see, the clip on here, you can adjust it many different positions, obviously different can't ride, things like that. Um, the, the leather itself, like I said before, is Herman Oak leather. It's the best in the industry. You can't get anything better than that for gun holster leather. Um, you can get it with the smooth side out or smooth side in. It's up to you. I actually chose it with the uh, smooth side on the outside. I like how it looks and it, it feels really good as well. So um, you can get it with the belt. It's like a clip with a snap on it. This is $12.50. The holster itself is $80. Um, worth every penny. Um, I would get a couple of them for all the guns you, I have. Um, you can do big guns, small guns, middle of the road guns. It doesn't matter. He can make them for whatever you can throw at him. So, uh, Ryan, thank you once again. Go visit them at rgrizzleleather.com. If you have any questions, contact me at holsterreviewer at gmail.com. Otherwise, please like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, we'll bring you many more different styles of holsters. But besides that, um, Ryan, once again, thank you. Um, this has just been nothing short of amazing. So um, other than that, you guys have an awesome day.